Hi, I'm Catherine of GameCast.net and I'm about to do an unboxing which is kind of themed with uh, all the stuff around me uh, for Dead Space 2. Uh, so this is a collection edition on the Xbox 360. As you can see it's got a metallic um, cover to it. Well, actually a whole metallic box. So the sides the same. So this of course joins his shooting plasma cutter onto the uh, Nicomorsen side. You've got the back of it there, all shiny and everything. Uh, it's got all about the details, how it's got an online pass, because of course they do that stuff now. Oh damn, I need some batteries. Okay, need batteries. I have to find some. Um, I'll, I'll probably do a pause and then edit halfway through the video. Um, so yeah, there's the box. Uh, it's got a standard black top and bottom. It's then also got a bit here that you can cut open. Um, sadly there's no velcro so it means it will flap open forever. Um, but it's got like a kind of diagram of the plasma cutter but it's the old model not the new model which is exactly the same as on the front here he's got the old plasma cut model uh, so it's got all about the plasma cutter as you can see there with the same kind of metallic look on it all this part of it being blank bar uh, stars and I don't know what that's supposed to be some kind of cloud of some sort but it's kind of on theme with that uh, so this bit can slide out. I managed to get it slide out earlier, or you can just pull it open. So I'm just gonna open the box up. Try not to hurt it. No, it's not gonna work. Paper clip. Paper clip will do the job. Okay. I should not hurt this one. I opened it the first time, so I don't want to end up hurting it this time. If I do, I'll be a bit pissed off about it. It doesn't want to come out. There we go. So this comes out. It feels like it doesn't actually want to, but it's got a full version of uh, that image on it. So you've got Isaac shooting. And you've got more on the side as well. So kind of what the back doesn't have, because it's got different Isaac. Which this is that this kind of image here is the cover for the PS3 collection edition, which is actually a really nice box. And I must, I much prefer, sorry, not must, much prefer the uh, collection edition of the PS3 box, especially because it's also a little card box or a card sleeve similar to the Heavy Rain one. Uh, yeah, so you got that. Uh, it also carries on the side, so it's a full-on. Thing. It'd be quite nice to have that as a throw-on image, or I suppose if you really wanted, you could take this apart and make it flat, and then pull it out and stick it down. Um, so I want to open this without hurting it. Yeah. This ain't going so well. Almost. There we go. Didn't crease it. Yay. Okay, so it opens up and you've got the game straight away and the plasma cutter inside there. Okay. As you can see, there's like a little segment to uh, separate the two. Take them out. Okay. So, first off, you have the game, of course. Dead Space 2. There's the back. Not to be sold separately, so it's an actual bundle copy. And then we have, as has been mentioned, I mentioned this on the podcast as well, the uh, exclusive armor for Dragon Age 2, so you can uh, be dressed up as Isaac. Well, Isaac inspired armor, as you can tell, it's it's got like. There you go, I got my head. Uh, he's got chain mail on. Looking pretty cool, to be fair. It's quite a nice costume to uh, play about in um, Dragon Age with, which works a bit better than the. The Dante uh, costume in Dante's Inferno. Sorry, the Isaac's costume in Dante's Inferno. Um, so that's quite cool. So if you buy uh, Dragon Age 2, there's then a code which you can uh, put in and get that costume for when you, Dragon Age 2 comes out. Uh, you then got instruction book. It's got your online pass on the back of the instruction book, 
and it's sadly a uh, grayscale instruction book, but most EA games are, so not much you can do about that. Um, the correct solution also on your online pass, you automatically get a zealot suit and force gun as well. And then, sadly, on Xbox 360, it's on two discs. This is the first. Actually, no, Castlevania was two discs. I was going to say this is the first action orientated game that's on two discs, excluding RPGs because generally they go over two discs anyway. Um, but yeah, so first survival horror to go over two discs on 360, sadly. I was not expecting this. I opened it, I was like, wow. Um, but I hadn't read any reviews. Maybe they mentioned it to reviews, I don't know. Of course, on the PS3 version, it's all on one disc because Blu ray uh, or BD ROMs have a lot more space than a normal DVD. Oops, I've put my code back in there. So you've got the game. And then you get a lithograph. I'm not sure what they refer to it on the back as. Uh, a concept art lithograph. So you always get the same one. Um, it's got... I suppose you could say spoilers. It says opening scene slash a transformation concept. Art by Brett C. Martin. Martin. Martin, even, sorry. Uh, it's nothing amazing. It's quite nice. Uh, it would be nice if it was bigger, but then of course it would be folded up. Uh, but so that's pretty cool. And then you got a cute little Isaac there. Shoot him with a plasma cutter. And it goes all the way across. So that's kind of like their lining. Um, but yeah, so that's quite nice. Nice little lithograph. Uh, sadly only one. Then you've also got the soundtrack. Pedo Space 2. Try not to get my camera in the reflection. And then there's the tracks as well. Was there anything else? Oh, there's also a feature on the. Oh, oh, it's not an audio disc. Oh. So I. That's annoying. I may not be able to take the uh, songs off this. I don't know. Depends how it's been uh, put together. If it's been put together as a DVD, that's really annoying. Uh, but it's got a film on it. Well, not a film. A movie on it. I know, so it's got a folder of movies, so maybe I can still get the music off it and listen to it elsewhere. So that's pretty cool. It's got uh, 18 tracks in total, uh, so that's nice. And then, of course, there's the main, well, the, the exclusive thing to the 360 and PC versions of this is you get a replica plasma cutter. Um, I will have to go get myself uh, some batteries to show you this, uh, but it's... It's got the nice uh, kind of nebula imagery on the box that the plasma cut comes in, as you can see, just going around it. It's got stars, uh, some debris, and well, what I would call what looks like a nebula cluster of some sort. So that's pretty cool. And then you've got the plasma cut, which sadly could have been a bit more, I don't know, bigger, uh, less plasticky, but it's quite cute, to be fair. Um, so it kind of comes out... It's in a plastic, well it's not in a plastic, so that, that box is just black on the inside. Uh, it's on this little kind of card thing, keeping it inside, so as you can see here. This is keeping that attached to that, so then I just have to make sure to carefully pull it out. There we go. Uh, so it's, it's so it doesn't rattle around. It's got that to hold the trigger area in position and that bit for the, the light on this side. Put it back inside there. Here's the gun. So it's, it's I, I, well, I won't say cheaply, well, it's kind of cheaply made because it's made out of plastic, but anything that's plastic is generally cheaply made. Uh, you can see the sections where there's screws in it. Um, it's got uh, fake wear all over it. So as you can see here, uh, there's a little here from use of the plasma cutter. Uh, sadly, unlike the plasma cutter in the game, this does not rotate, which is a shame, because I, I generally use plasma cutter on its side. Um, as I will show you again, so there's the plasma cutter that he's got on the front of the box, which is actually different to this one. So if you notice here, this one's got the long bit, so like the, the one in the first game. Uh, so it's a little less realistic, whereas this one, if you notice, is more structured and could actually work if it was an actual real thing. Uh, so sadly they're different, and then you can also see that again 
in here. Totally different. It's a bit annoying as well because uh, these don't move. Uh, well, they don't have any way of moving with like control, so they're just kind of forced by gravity and then make little noises. Okay, I'm just going to go get some batteries for this. So I'm just going to pause it and um, hopefully resume in a similar place. Uh, which would be annoying because it won't be. And I hate editing stuff. Well, I don't hate editing because I hate having to edit it and not have one cut. Uh, so I'll be back in a sec with some batteries. I am now back with batteries. Um, so yeah, it's got a little... Put that back on. There's a place here with a screw in the barrel. Not in the barrel, in the... Um, I can't think of what it's called. Got those. Um, which then comes out. I can get it to come out. Got a little lip. Um, so then pop the batteries in there. Hopefully these batteries have some life in them. If not, ooh. So let's put that on there. Screw it back in. Don't have to screw it in all the way to be fair. That'd be fine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do it at the camera. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Uh, so we've got a little LED in here, and then three, of course, on the gun itself. There you go. That's pretty cute. I imagine it's quite cool in dark lights. Maybe I should turn the light off. And see what it's like. And then maybe see if you can see the line of light. That'd be mega cool, actually. Oh, yeah. Aw. That's lame. It's a lot brighter, though. Because, of course, it's the only light it's picking up. Oh, I can't see anything. You can see it on my hand. My arm. <laughs> That's flipping awesome. Aww. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it's got the the white. Is it a white LED? White, kind of in the blue spectrum almost. Uh, and then three green, as you can see there. So that's really cool. So now, as I said to um, a friend, now all I need is a small child that I can dress up as Isaac, and then they can hold this and it'll be an actual size, and then they can go around killing people. But then of course you need some necromorphs as well. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. cute. That's pretty cute. Sorry, this is really cool. Um, probably just the fact it's got the LEDs in it, it makes it a lot cooler. Um, but yeah. Uh, it could it could be awesome. So I'm sure people have made uh, replica ones, well their own ones uh, for like cosplay and stuff. Which would be awesome is if you could get them to change, and then oh that'd be amazing. I want my own plasma car. Sadly, it's got a huge made in China on the bottom of it as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that all comes nicely in. A, I won't put it all back together because I've got to take those batteries out because I don't want them to leak inside of it because that'd be horrible. So it all comes inside here. Uh, it retails at 60 quid, I think. So this was an exclusive to HMV. Uh, some other websites might have it, um, but I believe in the UK in, it was only HMV. Um, which then meant they completely sold out on the internet. I know that name. Uh, it completely sold out on the internet uh, on the HMV website. However, I'm sure other stores have it in stock, so you may be able to pick it up tomorrow on its release, uh, which would be quite cool. Uh, of course I say tomorrow, but this video is probably going to go up early hours of Friday morning. Actually no, it's Thursday. Friday. What's today? Thursday. Wednesday. Probably go up early hours of Thursday or Friday morning, depends when I put it up in the end, uh, or when I get it up. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not allowing myself to play it yet because I haven't actually finished Dead Space yet uh, because I'm lame like that. Um, but I'm currently working my way through it. Uh, sadly, I might not be able. To, well, I won't be able to play it over the weekend because I'm doing uh, Global Game Jam. For anyone who knows that, if you do know what that is, then you know you're cool. 
Uh, if not, you better find out what it is. You don't have to. Um, yeah, so this, uh, of course, the sequel Dead Space. Dead Space came out 2008, I believe. Um, on every console, and this is of course on every format. You can get this collector's edition on the PC, you can get it on the PS3 as well, however it doesn't come with the plasma cutter and it comes with extraction instead, or you can actually also get the limited edition on the PS3 which just comes with extraction, or you can just get normal versions. Um, best box wise, as I said before, the PlayStation 3 collector's edition, however this one's alright. Um, it's got multiplayer in it, of course, which I haven't tried yet. Um, Custom soundtracks? Why would anyone do that for that game? Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm... It's just like custom soundtracks I'm Condemned. I just think it's a waste of the game when you set it up to make a survival horror with all these pieces of when it's quiet and then you get the... the... what's the word? Where you... it creates enigma with the quietness and then all of a sudden, BAM! The usual kind of scare tactics, really because um, you know when it's quiet that the thing's going to come out. Anyway, enough of me blabbing about. Um, so yeah, sadly it doesn't come with batteries. But other than that, I think it's a pretty cool collection, especially because of this. Even if it is slightly cheap, um, heck, I could have like a fun fight with it, with all my friends with it, with uh, the collections. Also, I do like the noise the uh, trigger makes, because it's pretty clicky. I'm sure that could actually wear out after a while. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure what to think of this. I knew it wasn't going to be life-size, which would have been really cool. Um, but it is actually really, really quite a nice little thing. Um, looking forward to listening to the soundtrack as well. Uh, and of course playing the game. Um, so yeah, that's the Dead Space 2 PlayStation unboxing. Um, I highly recommend it to Dead Space fans or people who want a little plasma cutter. Um, not real plasma cut buying in mind. Um, I can't say much about the game, of course, as I haven't played it yet. But uh, I did play the demo, and I quite enjoyed the demo. Um, so yeah, excuse me. That's the Dead Space 2 collection. I recommend people buy it if they're fans of Dead Space, or want a little gun, um, or have money splash. Uh, in America, I believe it was available on a whole variety of stores, um, and probably would have been about, actually I'm not sure. I'm not going to guess price because then people will tell me I'm wrong. Uh, but it came out over here for the price I've already said. Um, so yeah, that's that, and I recommend picking it up, because it's pretty darn cool. And I'll catch you for my next video, which might be, might be Crisis 2, but that's not until March. So I'll probably do something else in between. Um, or if there's any new games that come out with crack stations. I don't think there are. Um, but yeah, so I'll catch you for my next video. And don't forget to check out uh, Gamercast.net and check out our podcast as well. Gamercast.net slash episodes will take you to the podcast. Um, and check those out. Because then you can listen to me blab. Except you just don't get to see me. Uh, but it's portable. Although, of course, YouTube's portable anyway. Um, so yeah, catch you for my next video. Bye!